channel it's your girl Nichelle here on YouTube in Peaks XO and today we have a very special guest my friend hi Lauren Ashlyn at curly lash yes on Instagram um, today we are going to be filming a chit chat get ready with me well get ready with us and we're going to answer you guys' questions that you asked us on social media so let's get right into the video Okay, so we're gonna start our makeup and then answer the questions while we're doing our makeup. Hopefully this goes well because <laughs> normally I cannot do both. Oh shoot. <laughs> the first question is from Pia Adele. She says, a lot of PKs end up outside the ministry. What has been your biggest influence in your personal walk with the Lord? Okay, my biggest influence has definitely been like the people around me. I surround myself with good people, like not wild, crazy people. Um, a really big thing was like, going to a Christian school like so basically even the home the school just like my friends everywhere I was around was just like a good environment and like healthy and even like friends we would talk about God and stuff so yeah okay next question what's your relationship status <laughs> single I already said this on my Instagram but I just feel like it's not the perfect time for me I mean I know God's timing is crazy but like i don't know i just feel like i'm not in a place in my life right now to be worrying about somebody else <laughs> at least i'm worrying about somebody else yeah i'm currently almost a single oh my god <laughs> <laughs> i am in a full-blown relationship oh boy. <laughs> full blown, a year and a half going strong I nearly almost married i'm just kidding no, i'm just kidding no. but yeah i'm taking wow when do you think I'm you would want to get married though we've talked about it you have yeah um probably in like maybe three or four years wow that's a long time uh, exactly <laughs> like i think i'm ready to like i don't know i've never had like a party phase or anything like that and i think i'm just ready to like settle down and just decorate a house <laughs> decorate, <laughs> decorate, house. <laughs> decorate a house oh um, but yeah maybe in like a couple of years you just want to like finish college first before and just yeah. also like we're broke too like we don't want to you know do anything drastic and then um i don't know but yeah i'm not single sorry fellas <laughs> i am Beringer. what triggered you to do a youtube channel you in la so i really don't understand this question at first but i think he's talking about like what triggered us to do one together mm -hmm. so not any of my friends know how to do makeup that good <laughs> I'm just going to be straight up like they don't like they're not into it. Okay, yeah. not, okay, they can <laughs> so put them on blast. Okay, <laughs> they can do makeup, I guess. Like everybody can do makeup if you practice, but like nobody's ever been like I don't know, like into eyeshadow. It. Yeah, like into it. You can do like, like your eyebrows and your uh, foundation. Anybody can do that, but I feel like eyeshadow and stuff. So I was like, when she made her curly lash page, I was like, okay, we like. I remember DMing you, and I was like, dude, we need to do a video together because none of my friends know how to do makeup. Yeah, I remember, you said, I remember you said that. And so I was just like, yeah, we need to do a YouTube video together. Oh, he asked another question too, but I think I deleted it on accident. What did he say? He said, he said what do you love about me? Oh, yeah. He said, what do you love about me? Try, I love your energy. Yeah, You're like a little bro. Energy. Just I like know. I said on my friends, still, like, everybody needs to have a little bit of trend in them because... First of all, I feel like every every time he's around people, he just gives off good vibes. Yes. <laughs> and like, some people be haters. Honestly. Yeah. And I'm like, it's not that serious. Like, let him live his best life. I mean. I mean, she was already kind of, you know, on not on the, it's kind of on the dull side. So, yeah, Trent can so, spice it up. Like, let him be. Let that boy be. Yeah, like, Trent is so dope to me. Okay, next question is from Makami, my sister. Where do you see yourself in five years, YouTube-wise? Um, hopefully I'm like, I don't know. Hopefully I'm like, I don't want to say famous. But like well known. Yeah, kinda. well known. Yeah. Like, I hope I just like reach my goals and I just stay consistent with everything. And hopefully I can make this my career. 
because like I've always wanted to do this like even in high school I remember Miss Uglin going around the room like asking us what, are, what we want to do and I was just like in the back of my mind I was like a YouTuber but I knew if I would have said that because they were like a doctor and, exactly you know like all the class a stuff if I would have said a YouTuber I was just like uh, and then she got to me I was like oh I want to own my own salon yeah so I'm just like uh okay let me just go with that so yeah this has always been what I wanted to do but I just never thought I would ever get falling base, so hopefully one day I do. Mm -hmm. But I guess we could answer that question for you and say like, I guess for Instagram, yeah, yeah. Look curly hair, like I want to build up. Um, oh my gosh, I need to turn my, my hair curly wise and let it grow because I like was I had uh, what do you call it, relaxers for a while, and then I was transitioning, and so that's like a journey within itself. And I just want to like do that and help other people just love like you know like their their hair and stuff like I that. I feel like a lot of people that grow is like hat relaxers and stuff mm -hmm. like curly hair wise and they just didn't know what they to do with their hair yeah i don't know if that was you but underscore m dot ruthann says when your youtube career takes off thank you when <laughs> not if um will you move to los angeles or still rep ohio i would i don't know that's a hard question because i feel like when i get there i can really like like stay, not rep ohio yeah. or like moving there like move i guess like staying here but i would want to stay in ohio strangely as that sounds no la is really expensive too yeah, when definitely. I went out there, they're telling me how rent for an apartment is just like twelve to fourteen hundred for an apartment. That's not a house. I'm like, oh my. Yeah, that's a lot. But I guess it would be good for me to go out there, maybe sometimes, because a lot of people get more exposure when we go out there, and like there's YouTubers there. Okay, next question. Favorite sibling, Lauren Ashley. <laughs> um, mine is probably my laptop. It's probably my favorite sibling because it doesn't bother me. I can talk to it whenever I want. Watch Pretty Little Liars. Uh, my favorite sibling is. It's like, no, nah, I don't have one. <laughs> I'm the only um, child. If you didn't know. So. Yeah, she. That's why she's saying that. <laughs> but um, I don't not. Nobody's my favorite. I don't have favorites. That would be mean if I did. I really couldn't pick a favorite even if I wanted to because I have something in common with each one of them. That's good. I always wondered, I always wanted like an older brother, but then I'm kind of glad I don't now because he be trying to protect me all the time. Probably. Yeah, there's definitely pros and cons. Yeah, I clean all my brushes. So okay, next question. Tyreek, at Tyreek699, <laughs> what made you want to start doing makeup? Do you want to go first? I can go, yeah. At first, I wasn't like really into makeup. I just did eyeshadow and mascara and just left it at that. But as I got older, I was like, you know, I kind of, you know, my face is changing. I want to like, you know, spice it up a little bit. Like you can spice up your stuff. So I just started watching YouTube and I just um, bought like a little makeup here and there at the drugstore. And just like figure out what more for my face. I just wanted to spice up my life a little bit, you know. And like, it's like to enhance like your features. And I think it's also a way of creativity. Like you want to express how, yeah, like your personality is and stuff like that. And I think that's what kind of made me want to do that. Um... I don't really know what made me start doing makeup. I feel like ever since I was in middle school, I just liked makeup. And a lot of that came from YouTube, like just watching all the YouTube beauty gurus. And the only thing I would watch though is so weird is like the makeup collections. And I would see how much makeup they have and I'm like, wow, that's so <laughs> like pleasing to me. So then I just like started doing makeup. And I, would, I used to be so bad at makeup. I remember this one day. I pre I'm pretty sure this person does not even remember they told me this. <laughs> but my wing was like, I used to make my wing all the way up to my eyebrows sometimes. Well, really? So, I don't know if it was all the way up there, but like, I think it was in middle school. And I don't, maybe it was bad, maybe it was, wasn't. But I don't know. This dude was like. This was a dude what? too? Yes, it was. That's something you would do too. I'd be like, you know, your hair was like, what is that on your hair? <laughs> <laughs> oh that black hair? <laughs> and I was so sure that they do not remember seeing that, but you know, probably not. Just, you know, that person just says stuff all the time without remembering. Yeah, I was it. like, uh, then I just stopped. <laughs> I was so big. Like, I was traumatized. I just stuck. Um, at A. John, favorite memory from Tree of Life. I knew somebody was going to preach. I'm going to like my memories not even good to say. <sighs> oh, tree of life. I always think about my junior year. That was a fun time. Even it was because we were seniors. Because <laughs> you guys were seniors. And then like, I just feel like that was my peak time. Like, it was just so fun. Like, we just, I don't know. Like, prom, prom was pretty fun, I guess you could say. 
I will say the problem. <laughs> Actually, I'm not going to so say that. I was like, I'm not even going to say that. That was probably like my favorite memory though, even though yeah. like, I don't know. That was just fun. I'm trying to think of other memories from Tree. And that, was that like the last memory you had with our class basically? Or just something? Um, I want to say the um, senior breakfast. Oh yeah. So I was yeah. able to come to that. It, there's so many like, I could go on all day about them, but definitely, I'm just not going to be a specific about it. Senior year was basically the best memory I ever had. Like, it was so dope. Everybody was so chill. And by that time, you would think that people would already be like comfortable with each other because we I've been there since second grade. Yeah, I've so been there since like, first. Why are we still acting weird? And I would always <laughs> wonder that like in um high school. And then senior year came and everybody was just like so close and everybody was just so transparent. I was even closer to your class too, because I was a junior your senior year. Yeah. That was just a fun year, I think. And I feel like everybody went wild. <laughs> like everybody was just acting themselves like their true they're true they're like we don't care no more yeah and it was just so much fun and at Keenan daddy i just said christmas special um i don't know what you mean Keenan, but yeah i'm probably going to do some christmas stuff and probably with more nashland too um at claire x rose can you sing no i can't at all I don't think I can. I don't, or I just I just don't like singing in front of people unless it's like really crazy. Like rather sing really crazy in front of people. Yeah, I feel like I always just play around when I sing. Therefore, no one's actually judging you. If you think you can sing and you try to sing, you sound bad. Then exactly. that's when people talk about you. But if you just don't think you can sing, you can sing. No, no one's gonna care. Did you start your uh, foundation yet? I met your eyes. No. Oh, you're still doing your eyebrows? I, I can't see. This is hard to talk. No, I'm done now, but it's like hard to talk and it's oh. at the same time. Okay. Um, next question is from at the real Abby Johnson. Who are your favorite YouTubers at the moment? Ooh. Whoa, whoa. Like, I have different category categories of YouTubers, like beauty and then like fun stuff. And for some reason, I don't know why I haven't been watching Grayson and the Dolan twins. And I just started watching them, Emma, Emma Chamberlain and James Charles. And they're just like so, I only watch the videos of them together. They're just like so interesting to me. I don't know why. I'm like, why am I watching this? But they're just like so interesting to me. Um, I don't watch a lot of YouTube. Well, I just like watch stuff here and there. But I really like Jazz, Jasmine Brown. She's like at Jasmine. I like her. Oh, yeah. She's cool. I just started watching her. Emily told me to follow her. I like her. I, that's She's so I watch pretty. YouTube. I don't know. If I just watch someone, I'll watch it for a little bit. And then I'll just quit watching them. Because I just, I don't know. Oh, Kyra Stewart. At Kyra Stewart. I watch, do you know who she is? No. No? She's like, um, she's like 21 now. But her and her husband got big when they were like 19. Like, and they just got married. Wow. I don't know. I like her a lot. And she's like, they're like Christian based too. And they just had Aww. a baby. Um, oh, they're balling out. They just built a house. Um, at x underscore clean dot naya can you do a makeup tutorial yeah she can i can't i can't, I can't the last talk time, and do this yeah. like the last mm -hmm. time i did a makeup tutorial was oh, quite a while ago but yeah i will um can at can I underscore jackson who is your childhood crush and do they know <laughs> that they were your crush how far Ooh. back are we going because <laughs> definitely elementary school i had a crush and i you know who he was like you know who he is I, yes i love i was in love with that way and i don't know why what was he at indianola yes really yeah oh my god <laughs> i i liked him I, I don't know why I, I had one for like three three years it was you liked him yes i was in love with that boy and my nana like got me Aww. like a, um like a purity ring i think and i'd be like yeah he gave this to me he gave me this ring <laughs> Ew. But he knows. I think he knows that. But like, obviously, I don't like him anymore because he just turned out to be like a straight butthole. Yeah. But oh, that's really funny. Wow, I would have never guessed that. Really? Yeah. Everyone like knew. I'm, that was like only in elementary school though. But the thing is, I did not. Me and Lauren actually didn't get close to like last year. Yeah, like my. Because we didn't year. Have used to like each other. I feel like we did for a while, and then like I don't even know what no, happened. Elementary school is fine. I feel like. Like the end of that, like middle school. I don't know I what don't happened. Know. We I were wild, no bro. Like we really didn't. That's so weird to me. <laughs> At Finn stood out to you. Who's your favorite cousin? Of course you. <laughs> oh, is that your cousin? <laughs> yeah. I don't have a favorite cousin. Everyone knows that. I love you guys all equally. I have like a set of cousins, but they're in South Carolina. Do you have any family here? 
Yeah, most of my family's here. Oh. Um, but they're just like older aunts and stuff like that. And a few cousins. But I don't know. I don't have favorites. <laughs> John, that sounds like such a Josh question. Yeah. <laughs> that is okay, so funny. Next question. Uh, <laughs> okay, these are all Instagram names except for his. So his is his Snapchat because he doesn't have Instagram. At jboma121. What is your opinion on what a man is? Ooh, that is really good. That's a good question. I like this one a lot. Me too. I want to. Oh, I could go on. Yeah. Only a man is someone who knows how to treat a woman. I would say. Yeah. Exhibit um, e. Yeah. Like no disrespect. Open doors. You have to see like if they treat their mom well, that's a man. Also, someone who's like not gonna let someone emasculate him. Cause I feel like a lot of females do that nowadays. They like let their girlfriends just run them around and I don't know, like use them as like little Ken dolls. I don't know. Yeah. It's attractive when a man can say no sometimes. Okay, I'm just saying. <laughs> but I don't like being told no, so. If I want pizza, you give me pizza. I feel like a man is, I don't know, like there's not many, just my dad. My dad is the, Definition of what a man is like just spiritual to, leader. What you yeah, say? spiritual leader um, Just the way he raised us like I literally want to find someone who has characteristics like him and Yeah, I I don't know like it's just a whole bunch of stuff. Like yeah, I would say like for sure a spiritual leader and a, um, a Leader as well just like a regular leader, you know, yeah that makes sense. Josh you're definitely a man. Yes, Josh is a man. <laughs> yeah, if that's what he was trying to get to <sighs> Josh, Josh you you're, you're a man. man. Okay. Yeah. Responsible too. Like yeah. he's responsible of his actions, and he like you can tell Josh was just thinking like towards the future, not just in the moment. Yeah, because there's I a lot of guys at, that went to my high school that were just like jerks. Even towards the girls, like I don't want to say they were like, yeah. You know, I don't know. Didn't like women or stuff, but I feel like they were just like sometimes disrespectful. At Kenzie dot Kirkpatrick, what is something you miss about high school? I all miss high school questions. I miss like actually seeing everybody. Like even though we were like all best yeah. friends, like it was still fun. Like in the hallways and just like I don't know. I miss that and also miss I miss volleyball a lot. Volleyball and I miss watching basketball games. How about that? <laughs> oh say, yeah. Like, say cheering. I just miss the games a lot. <laughs> Our senior year, the basketball, <laughs> the whole basketball season that was so funny because like the student sections and stuff. Oh, and I feel like you yeah. guys don't, they don't do that now. No, it's so weird now. The good teachers, like you could just go to them for anything. Yeah. And I was like, even telling my cousin about this the other day. It's like she's like, you go to lunch with your teacher, like still. <laughs> like yeah. And I'm like yeah, it's like a whole like it's not. I'm it's still school, but it's just like so different from a normal school. It's like I think about Tree probably. I think about them honestly every day. I'm not gonna lie, like especially my teachers too. I really don't know what I'm doing. Okay, next question is from at underscore underscore Tellies. Tellies. Who's that? Francisco. Oh. What is your favorite piece of makeup? <laughs> I probably feel like my highlighter. Your highlight? Yeah. I don't know. I want to say... There's a lot of things that I couldn't go with though. I really like lip gloss. Like, I'm really a big fan of, like, sparkly lip gloss. Yeah. That's what I want to say. Like, even if I'm, like, not wearing your makeup, I'll still, like, wear that. That's what I would say. Um, what do you want for Christmas? <laughs> it's clearly talking to you. I don't know. And if I do want something, I'm not telling you. I'm just kidding. Now. I don't know. I was thinking about that. I was like, I honestly don't know. I just want to go on a big shopping spree for Christmas. I don't know. I'm not high maintenance at all. Don't it's like all year round, I want something until Christmas. Yeah. Comes and like, I don't know what I want. Yeah. Or hair products, because hair products are so expensive. And I cannot afford them for my life, especially because I'm not working right now. Like yeah. I cannot afford hair products. Um, at underscore dot Ken's twenty two dot underscore <laughs> treaty. I said it way backwards. I said tea tree. Treaty. Um, we're not in high school anymore, but I don't have any tea. I'm sure my brothers do though. I'm not one time Nike on her neck. No. What? Oh, I think I don't think you were there. I don't know this before. She got married and she had a scarf around her neck. And I, I think I was in class with Kenzie and I was like, Kenzie, I was like, I bet you she has a hickey on there. Because she was telling us about her um, 
her little, you know, guy that she was talking to. And we were all like shook, like, oh my gosh. And I think she like moved me see on her neck. I was like, oh my. Yikes. That's so awkward. Yeah, it's just a little bit. Just even the thought of that like makes my eyes hurt. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um at savage underscore purpel twenty one. Do you go to school? I'm in college. I'm the first year in college. I don't go to school. I did my time at. You said I did my time. So it was like jail time or something. You said I did my time. I did my time. Um, at Irvin Harvey's dead. Who is that? Is that your mom? Yeah. What good slash bad habits do you have? Uh, good habits I have or being consistent with my diet. Um, a bad habit I have is definitely procrastination. I would say, um, like eating sugar is probably my worst habit. Like that and then just coffee because I'll just drink coffee and won't eat anything like that whole day. And that's no good at all. I just want to say like, I can't stick to a diet like you can. I just can't. Literally. Mm. I don't know how you're doing keto. It's very interesting. Um, what's your motivation in question mark? The wings beneath your wings that carry you. Oh, um, I the, typed that wrong. <laughs> the, the, wind, the wind beneath your wings. Oh my god. <laughs> wind beneath your wings that carry you day to day. Wow. <laughs> right? <laughs> Is that like a traumatic question? For school, what motivates me is, I don't know, like once I start something, I want to finish it. I don't know. And if I'm like decent at it too, like that's just more motivation. If I'm not good at something and I'm not good the first try, then I just get frustrated and I just say forget it. Mackenzie, like, she's she, like, copies everything I do. Aww. Like, she gets on my phone, and I'm, she's like, what's your password? I'm like, blah, 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 blah. And then, like, two weeks later, I'm like, on her iPod, I'm trying to fix something on her iPod. And she, I'm like, what's your password? She's like, it's the same as yours. Oh, that's so like, oh cute. Oh, my gosh, like, she's so sweet. And I'm, that's funny. But it's just, like, literally everything that I do, she wants to do. How old is she now? I think I remember when she was born. Uh -huh. she's, yeah, she's seven. And I'm just like, wow, like people are actually looking up to me, even it's like little stuff like that. Mm hmm. That's so cute. And I'm like, I have to do good for for Mackie. So that's the end of the questions. Let's <laughs> talk about shows that we watch. What series have you finished on Netflix? Oh, uh, on Netflix, I finished like, whole, whole, like Gossip Girl. I finished Gossip Girl. I finished 90210 twice. They took it off, did you know? Yeah, that's why I had her been finished because they were taking it off like October 8th. Matthew was in the middle of rewatching it and he was like, it's off. <laughs> I was like, so teeny. That's, yeah, because I, I watched 90210 actually twice all the way through. And um, I don't know, I just really liked that show. It was just, I liked it a lot. And then Gossip Girl I watched once, but that was like long. I love Gossip Girl so They're just so, so much. like always sleeping with each other. I'm like, I need to go pray after watching this. Like, there's just some wild kids. Like, they know. are wild, like sleeping with their bosses and stuff. Right? <laughs> or with each other. I'm like, oh yeah. my gosh. Like, you were just, oh my gosh, Serena. She's with a different boy. Like, she has to go through about like seven boys in one season. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, oh, during the whole series, I'm like, no, way not more the, than like, that. Like, just that whole season. And then she'd be like, I don't know why I keep getting hurt. <laughs> like, every you're a hoe. Girl, if you don't just stay with Dan and be done with it. <laughs> exactly. You pretty little liars. Oh my gosh. Oh my I gosh. I could not finish that. It was just... Why? Like, That's what people say. A lot of people say they can't finish Pretty Little Liars. I don't know It why. was just going on for way too long. And I'm like, I'm over this. And after I found out who... After they found out who A was, it's like two, two or three more seasons after that. I that's think. What, I think that's what Micah said. And then I've been watching... I watched Riverdale. Yeah, I watched Virgo. Yeah, I just watched it when it comes on Netflix. No, so I don't know what's happening on the new season. But I watched Virgo and um, there's someone else too. I watched. I was watching Hawaii Fogo for a long time, and I just I started to like get a little bad. Not bad, just like boring. It was losing interest. I kept watching it for a little bit. Um, like, were you nervous? Especially like you didn't know his family. Like, I'd be so nervous that like if I start talking to somebody, then they're gonna turn crazy. <laughs> no, because I have, um, um, I've been told I have the gift of discernment, so I can kind of tell, like, I can just, like, sense certain things about people, mm -hmm. and, um, I don't know, it was, like, I have no idea what was, like, going through my mind, be like, yeah, like, I'll go out with him, like, let me just, you know, it was just so weird, because, like, nowadays, like, I'll be totally scared, like, to do that, so I don't know, that was just weird, that was just summer, it was summer, you know, anything happens well, That summer. was God, bro. And I guess, and so, um... 
we went out a couple times and I was just like really guarding my heart, you know, like I don't want to like do anything crazy. You know, people say follow your heart, but the heart's the most deceiving, you know. And so mm, that's I... A nice quote. And, <laughs> and so I, you know, we went out and um, people were like, oh, like, how'd you like? And I'm like, you know, like, he's all right. Like, I wasn't like head over heel for him. I was like, you know, it's okay. So I went out a couple times. The more I went out, like, um, the more... I don't know, so weird. Like, we just get to know each other, and, like, I wasn't afraid. I was afraid, because, like, I just... <laughs> the night, I don't think I told you this, the night that he actually needed to be his girlfriend. How even, long How long was it I don't before know. you guys Okay, went? so we met June 23rd of 17, mm -hmm. and then September 9th of that same year, he actually needed to be his girlfriend. So about, like, three months. Oh, and that's so, a good time yeah. period. And so, I think he actually to be his girlfriend on my front porch, and, like, I don't remember how that conversation... I don't remember how that conversation went. Like, I totally blanked out. I think I said yes, and then I ran in the house, and I, I was on the toilet, and I texted Micah. I was like, Micah, I was like, I think he's actually to be his girlfriend. She's like, what'd you say? I was like, I don't remember what I said. I was what? like, I was like, I don't know. Like, I was just so nervous, and I was like, oh my gosh. I was like, like, I'm not just, I don't want commitment. Like, I can't do this. Like, no, no, no. Yeah, at that and time so, you probably didn't think you could either. Yeah, like, that was just... no offense, but she was a little wild. <laughs> Okay, but we already have my intervention, so I was I was okay. Oh, with that it. was after the intervention. Yeah, that was after. Oh, yeah, yeah. But people look like liking me just for my body, and so um, that was nothing with Francisco. I was like, well, I hope he just doesn't like me for my body, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. And um, I don't know. It's just like I think really that relationship really is God because just the way things like worked out, fell together in place, like it was just really crazy, and like we never had a problem like talking to each other. Like we're super honest with each other, and like. We just talk about a bunch of things that probably like teenagers our age like wouldn't talk about just to, like mm -hmm. clear things up so there's like no miscommunication or you know why are we doing this and stuff like that you know and not, it's not like awkward no like it's not awkward it's just weird because wow. i don't like talking to people like i don't like showing my emotion and stuff like yeah. that but this like he like actually knows me like he knows when there's something wrong and like i'm not saying it and stuff like that it's just weird you know i can't explain it i never thought i'd be that type of person to be like all googly eyes but yeah i turned into that person Oh no. Wow. And that's just like I'm just like, yeah. Wow. <laughs> like I just And that's just like another thing too, like you guys are so cute. I feel like people expect like around like our age to like find their husband and like fall in love and stuff like that. But like you can't rush anything. Like if it happens, like the timing is all you can't plan your own path. Yeah, you know like I mean? that's what I was saying on my Instagram when people were asking questions about like um when I'm going to get in a relationship, like, it's not when, it's like when God wants me to. Right, and yeah. I'm pretty sure you weren't even looking for a relationship. I was not at all. Mm -mm. Like, even like when guys talk to me, like, ask for my number and stuff, like, I'll give them my Instagram and then I'll block them like a couple days later. <laughs> yes, I, like, it's like weird that you didn't do that I with know, him. I know, and it's like weird that I actually like responded back to him because that same night, actually, um, remember the twins, the Marshall twins, uh -huh. Isaiah and Josh? One of their friends DM'd me that night, the same night Francisco did. And I was like, I'm not going to answer him, like, because, like, what if me and this guy, like, hit it off? And then we actually, it was so weird. Like, I still have that yeah, message. Yeah, that is God. I, I oh still have that gosh. message. I still have that message unopened. In that unopened. intervention. That inter I'm telling you. Oh, that's what I'm saying Dude, about Michael. That's why you got to surround yourself with <laughs> white people who pray for you. Exactly. That's like, oh, my gosh, bro. Wow. Guard your heart when you get in a relationship. Okay. Be careful. Be smart. Listen to advice other people tell you. Because... They see better than what you see. Okay, isn't that true? Yeah. Exactly. They so, see outside yeah. the picture. Fine. Yes. And they care for you. They're not going to tell you something if they don't care for you. Yeah. Okay. So we had to come and pause and like actually do our face. Yeah. <laughs> we were just talking. So. Now the finishing sessions. Ooh. That's the place. Oh. They're called fix fixed place. plus matte. So it fixes your face while matting it. All Nighter by Urban Decay. And that's really good too. I'm about to buy this, bro. It's like when I spray it, it makes me jump. So yeah. I feel like. Oh, I missed my face the first time. So I'll do that in a little dry. I'm gonna do this one too. This one's really good. Okay, guys. So that is our makeup looks. These are very fall appropriate, so. Mm -hmm. You guys can copy these yeah. if you want. Um, make sure you guys subscribe and like this video and comment down below if you enjoyed Lauren Ashlyn on my channel. Make sure you guys follow her on Instagram, Curly Lash. I'll put it right here. Mm -hmm. Two eyes. Yep. Right there. Boom. 
I'll see you guys in my next one. Let us know if you want to do another video together, if you enjoyed it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell us. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.